For your warm up today, we're going through a circuit three times. We have 20 crossbody windmills, 20 arm circles, both forward and backward, 10 high knee lunge with a twist, five inchworms, and then 20 single leg glute bridges. That's 10 on each side. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna start nice and tall. Generally, you want your feet a little wider than shoulder width for this. Arms out to the side, rotating as you hinge down. So down and across, tap your toe, the ground if you can get there, nice and tall, and the other side. If you can keep your legs straight for this, excellent. Don't worry if you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. Still a strong back, we're not slumping into this. Strong, rotate over, strong, rotate over. 20 crossbody windmills. Arm circles, pretty easy. Straight arms, making the biggest circles you can backwards and forwards. High knee lunge with a twist. Plant one leg, squeeze that knee into your chest, strong lunge out into the front. Here we're gonna rotate over that front knee. Reach and look behind you, back up to neutral. Squeeze, lunge, rotate, back to neutral. Uh, each side will do an even number. Today we're doing 10. So five in your right, five in your left. Inchworms, we're gonna keep your legs as straight as you can. Reach for the ground. Walk only with your hands out as far as you can, staying tight and strong. Then walking only with your toes as close as you can get. Legs as straight as you can, let this be a big stretch. Five inchworms. Single leg glute bridges. We're gonna lay on back, plant one leg, other leg straight out in front of you. You can absolutely use your hands on the ground to facilitate this. We're gonna press up as high as you can, control back to the ground. High as you can, back to the ground. Same on both sides. If this is too hard, raising that leg higher will make it easier. If you can't do this all the way, if you can't get all the way up, turn it into Regular glute bridges for the same total number. Single leg glute bridges. Your Metcon today is a 14 minute MRAP. It starts with 15 back rack bag squats, 20 heavy Russian bag swings, and 20 bag zercher lunges. Let's take a look at it. Back rack, back bag squat. So today, we're gonna use the same load for everything. I have a bag with three big books in it. Any sort of odd object load will work fine for this. Uh, potentially, if you have some weight, you could do this with a, a couple of dumbbells, maybe a barbell, we could talk about ways to do that. Um, but a big, heavy, weird object, sandbag, all of that works fine too. 15 back rack bag squats, I would like you even if you can wear this as a backpack, don't. I want you to hold on to it, right up on the upper back, and then squat away, tall chest, knees track over your toes, lock up those hips at the top every time. 15 back rack bag squats. Russian bag swings. You can hold this object any way you like. 
so it's secure and we can swing it a la a Russian kettlebell swing. If you have a couple of straps, totally cool. If you want to fold it up, make it a little more compact, hold it at the sides if that works for you with your object, any way you can hang on to this, uh, totally works. No matter what, for the swing, shins vertical, drive those hips backward. To power it, we're going to open your hips as fast as you can. This is not a shoulder raise. This is powered entirely by your hips and butt. So reach, pop, reach, pop. And we're looking for that object to get about eye level, maybe shoulder height, something like that. It doesn't have to get super high. Make sure those abs stay on. We're not leaning into it. So rock, pop, rock, pop. 20 bag swings. Bag zercher lunges. Whatever your object, I would like you to hold it against your chest. So maybe a dumbbell, maybe a, a medicine ball, maybe a sandbag. Up here on your chest, ideally elbows underneath that object if you can make it happen. Nice and tall. For these lunges, you may go either forward or backward. So a forward zercher lunge or a reverse zercher lunge. For all of them, we want that back knee to kiss the ground, your chest to stay really tall. Do not lean forward on the way up. If you have to do that, limit your range of motion. I would rather you not get quite as low, but have that chest position look really good, then come down and have to collapse and strain that lower back on the way up. We're gonna get 10 on each side, 20 all together for a 14 minute MRAP. Have fun. For your finisher today, we have three sets of three movements, 15 tuck-ups, 30 Russian twists, that's 15 on each side, and then 30 seconds of a floating tabletop. Let's take a look at it. Your finisher starts with 15 tuck-ups. Ideally, we're going to start in a long hollow position, knees stay together, come up to this coccyx balance, and back here. If that's too hard, you could start with your shoulders on the ground. If that's too hard, you could totally turn these into sit-ups, either feet flat, potentially anchored under a chair or a dumbbell, or together butterfly style, down and up. We're gonna get 15. Russian twists. That's 15 on each side. We're gonna hit that balance nice and tall, knees together. Your hands are going to tap the ground on either side of you and your eyes are going to follow your hands. So balance, tap, 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 back and forth 15 times. If this is easy and you want to hold some weight, you're welcome to it. It's not gonna be easy. 30 Russian twists. Last part of your finisher is a floating tabletop for 30 seconds. This is definitely on that list of harder than it looks. Starting on all fours, we're gonna press through the ground so your knees are off the ground. We want your elbows and knees bent the entire time. So pressing through the, the ground, knees bent, elbows bent, back flat, squeeze everything. There should be a lot of tension here and to stay as still as you can keep breathing, keep pushing, 30 seconds of a floating tabletop. We're gonna do this finisher three times. 